Hi, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Where did Anna go? I'm here. Oh, oh there she is. Oh. I was going to say, you're like somehow out of frame. Uh, anyway, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas. I am joined tonight by Christian. What up? And Anna. I'm here. I didn't but know I'm if not you were, like, here. making a dramatic okay. entrance or something here. Okay, so I have a, I build a tower to display my toys, right? And that tower literally blocks my screen. So in order to mm -hmm. see certain parts of my monitor, I have to kind of dodge to the side and be like, what's on here? And that's what I was doing. Oh, there you go. Cool. And you know, all about the dramatic Anna dodge. So Anna, your post was uh, featured tonight in uh, one of the groups. I don't know if you... <laughs> Are a member of that group or not? Are you a member of the character collectors uh, group? No, I'm not. I'm oh, glad. Okay. Yeah. So there's a so there's a group that uh, is is run by another uh, cast member or maybe a couple. I don't know. But anyway, what it is you post your character collections, right? And of course, like everyone that posts these comes up short, according to like the members of the group because like a lot of times people be like oh i've got my like collection of of um you know i i don't know whatever like sunstreaker or whoever like whatever character right but like half the time it's like three figures or something or it's it's whatever like it almost never includes the the original g1 figure and so then they just like rip the person to shreds of you know, like, why are you posting incomplete collections and, you know, nice, right, buddy, whatever. So anyway, but in so... like a fun way, this is not like a mean group. It's a, satir well, a little, a little, I think it's like one it's of those things where if you know, well, you're right. But the pro, so the problem is, is like, you have this group, right? Like where half the people like have been in the group and like, no, you know, it's kind of like an in joke, whatever. Yeah. And then, like, anyone new that joins, like, has no idea. And so they're just like, what the heck? Like, why am I Why am I getting all this flack or whatever for, for whatever? They get roasted. Just, so yeah, the why Anna am I part of roasted? the story. Am I getting roasted? Go on. So what's the Anna oh. part of the story? I don't know, Christian. Shall we? Oh, I thought you were telling the story. I was just bringing you back to the point. Oh. I, I shared a bunch I, of I, storms points. today. Yeah, so so you showed a bunch of, but you did not by any means claim that you had a full collection, you know. No, so. no, I, I don't even know how many sandstorms exist in Transformers Land. At least three. That's about all I got for you. <laughs> so any anyway, so but it was it was in the post was in jest, of course, by another cast member uh, that had had posted it. So yeah. Are they roasting me hard. Are they having a good no, time? No, 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 no. It was really more. Actually, everyone was roasting the guy that posted it. Uh, ah, of course. Okay. So, because because essentially that's usually it's like you're posting it, you know, for yourself, like whatever. And so right, yeah, everyone right. was roasting them, not you. So <clears throat> anyway, got it. So now now that we have that story out of the way, I'll have to go look at it and cry later. Mm. That's such hurtful yeah. things about my collection of three random guys named Sandstorm. It is kind of odd that there are three different guys named Sandstorm. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Yeah. Like, As Randall said, there I think there, there probably are like seven Sandstorms because if you think that like the Beast Wars, the G2, I mean, like, I guess, I don't know, do you count the, uh, like, the unreleased, uh, prototype or whatever like i'm sure that paul or whoever probably would because doesn't does paul have the sandstorm paul has sandstorm yes yeah paul has sandstorm, so he, he could complete the you know the collection so the sandstorm seven pack well eight because technically i think randall's probably not counting the unreleased prototype uh g2 sandstorm which Who knows? The new one is is based off of like off of that prototype. So um, anyway, you know what? I was transforming Sandstorm. Screw it. I don't like transforming this thing, so I'm not so, doing that. So the other thing I was gonna say too is is I think that there was a question just in general is where are we actually going to get 
these figures, right? Because I, I don't know. I'm sure at some point I complained about, you know, repaints and all this kind of thing. And, you know, I think that there was a question like, oh, is, is Lucas... Because, like, and I've also said, too, that it's like I'm not as excited about Beast Wars as I am about, you know, the G1 stuff. So it's like, oh, is Lucas actually going to, you know, like end up getting all these and i think it was probably a question for all of us but i mean i assume christian you were probably excited about these anyway and then anna didn't actually get all of them so i'm really the only one that's you know the sucker that, that got these even though i'm not like huge into uh yeah, there was stuff. never a question that i was going to have all of them sandstorm i ended up getting for two reasons one is i wanted to have a shelf with three sandstorms because it's funny um, but two is just that the colors kind of made me really happy once I saw them since right. it's got so much orange and I really like orange things. So it just came out kind of pretty. So I decided I wanted it. Also, um, I like scorpions in general. Well, I feel like my problem is, see, I need to do like Christian does and just stop going to Walmart. Um, because, you know, for me, I like I think originally I wasn't planning on getting them, but then I went to Walmart and I saw them on the shelf and I, you know, I thought they looked cool. And so I decided to get them. Plus, like I was probably planning on getting at least one or two of them anyway. So, I mean, you know, we have to get Buzzsaw, right? To support Christian. Yeah, it's good to support Christian's obsession. I mean, how are you excited, are you, Christian, to, to get an official buzzsaw? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, I have all the other buzzsaws, so I needed to get this one. I got two, so I could keep one in package. And I never keep stuff in package. You guys know that. There you go. So now, if they, for whatever, re-release it in another packaging, are you going to get that, too? If it's the same toy, no, probably not. I, I don't see why I would if it's the same figure. So, well, you know, you never know. I'll be back. Know some some of uh, some people like uh, package variants. So, anyway, nah. Which one was the one that Anna didn't have? Was it the? Um... I think she doesn't have Night Prowler. Night Prowler. Okay, well, let's talk about that while she's gone. So... Okay, we'll talk about Night Prowler. Here he is. So, um, I was going to say that... Oops, I, like, just knocked my crap all over. Um, I think that this is the best looking of, uh, like, this particular mold. Um, like, it looks a lot better than Cheetor. Um, I think, like, the paint looks really nice. I think that the deco on the actual... I don't know. For whatever reason... I don't know about you, Christian... I feel like both the Cheetors just don't quite do it for me. Like, I think that there's a, like, premium finish version that would look really cool. And if, like, they somehow did kind of more like this. But I don't know. Like, yeah. this actually looks nice. This looks nice. I think Shadow Panther's pretty good, too. Yeah. But, yeah, this is definitely, I think, better than Cheetor. It's not accurate to what Nightcrawler was supposed to be. But it still looks neat. Yeah. I need mean, some blue. I may try and do it myself somehow, but yeah, I don't know. They they have brought that Night Prowler out in some in the the original universe prototype. They have brought that one out in some weird places over the years at Hasbro. So it's like I know they have the sample. So why didn't they deco the sample or deco this like the sample? You know, it's close. Yeah. You can tell yeah. it's inspired by, but it's missing a color. Just odd. I don't know. I like mean, said, I'm, I'm happy he exists. He is the not only non Beast Wars factioned character from this mold, which is pretty interesting, because he is an Autobot, not a Maximal. Why did they decide to do that? Because he was originally an Autobot. Oh, In okay, fact, okay. he's been characterized as a rogue Autobot. Hmm. There you go. Yeah. So I had him hanging out with my wreckers. And where did he originally appear at, Christian? 
He's a canceled universe figure. We went over that. Did we? Okay. I should have heard it. And then someone inspired uh, Jim Sorensen and others to write fiction for him for the first time ever. And uh, then he got fiction where he became a rogue Autobot and uh, cool stuff. There you go. See, Christian, if you, if you were coming to TF Expo, you could ask Jim Sorensen in person about this. I would just thank him in person because he already wrote it. It was great. It was back during the Ask Vector Prime of 2015 days on Facebook. And I kept pestering that page until they, uh, I wasn't pestering. I was very nicely asking, you know, what's up with Nightprowl? Because they were filling in a whole bunch of canon gaps for a lot of things over that course of that year. And I was like, hey, what's the deal with Nightprowler? And they made a deal with Nightprowler. It was cool. Someone like ro- likes robots. Yeah, likes one of robots. us. I'm not sure. One of our people. Uh, I'm, yeah, I, I can probably gander who said that, but so, so he is nice. Lucas, you the said this... bits is good. Oh, what were you I'm saying? That... You know? I was just saying you said this is your favorite one in this mold. You like it best? I think so. Yeah, like the paint again on the face is really nice. Like, and I I don't know. Like, I think that the you know, whatever the deco. I don't know whatever cat this is. Um, it's like a like, leopard, like a leopard, snow leopard. Yeah, the snow leopard. Um, you know, I think it looks the best um, of it. I don't know, like the the cheetor ones. Just like they're just like I don't know. I don't hate this mold. Um, it's okay. It's not great, but like I just feel like that there's like a deco that could be a lot better. Um, and this is it, like, for the... I, I just like the way this is painted. I think it looks good from what I'm seeing. I I definitely only have the one. I just have the little panther cat. But um, I definitely don't like the mold in general. Yeah. I'm hopeful that maybe Reaper Labels will do something with this and reinstate some of that blue. Or, like I said, I'll just try it myself. I don't think, it, I don't think you can match piece by piece what the color would be just because the mold is laid out differently but at least as long as i can introduce some of that color back i think i'll be happier it's like this really kind of dark navy looking probably it's, it's a neat looking sample if you haven't seen it you know just go to the wiki and look him up he's it's really cool looking but he was canceled from walmart and eventually 20 years later came out of walmart there you Yay. go. That, that is pretty funny. That... I guess it's eight, 18 years, but yeah. Good That's job, funny. kitty cat. The, the Fun fire... fact about all three of these guys, in a world where we have uh, windowless packaging now, all three of these guys have windows. Yeah, it's funny. I, I don't know why that was, but I was glad for it. Yeah. I don't know. I still have not seen uh issues with the, like the windowless package like i know people online have posted like where people have like messed with like figures or heads or stolen the figure like i haven't seen it but i know plenty of other people have so yeah i've seen it i saw one had this bulkhead oh, really early yeah mm. yeah i've seen it and it also affects the structural integrity of them when they ship mm. yeah you can see them being a lot more crushable. Yeah. And that, that's my primary worry is not so much that people are stealing the parts, it's the parts are coming out in transit, and then someone onloading the big box of them doesn't see a head rolling around and worry about it because there's somebody who's just onloading a box not paying attention. So... Yeah. Look, it's Shadow Panther. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, uh, the live action version. Live action Shadow yeah. Panther. Yeah, my problem is the next one. Caveat that the color is not accurate. It just seems like after all this time, it should be. Maybe I'll bug Mark on Instagram and figure out why it's not. <laughs> and Mark will Mark will be like, "Look, Christian, there's budget constraints. Okay." Give a guy a break. Or he'll probably come up with a better answer than that. 
I would like I him to be able to better answer that. He talked to me about Buzzsaw briefly. Oh, really? Oh, that's what, good. What, what did he, Mark have to say to you? Oh, I was just like, thanks for making this. I'm super happy that it exists. He's like, yeah, man, it's such a fun figure to make. Really cool character. Yeah. I was like, awesome. Because, as you guys know, I am I am Mr. Buzzsaw. You know, I will say <laughs> that I think it's see pretty... Directly across from me, here's the, the control art for his original release. It sits I, on my I desk will... at all times. I was going to say, I do think it's neat that Mark, um, you know, interacts with uh, people on Instagram. Yeah. Like, but I'm, I'm curious, like, does he, when he posts things or whatever, are there negative comments, like, on his posts? And does sure he address those? It's the internet. No, I know. Right. But, like, how, I don't know. I, I feel like I need to go look at his Instagram because, like, I, I'm I'm curious how he deals with if he you want to know whether or not he or deals he with just, trolls. Yeah. Does he deal so with should trolls? We do... Go for, I don't know. I've, I've not dug deep enough to see that. Yeah. I don't spend should my time do looking Mr. at Instagram Stahl? comments. Or Mr. Storm next. Saul. Okay. Showing off my art for doing this one. But I just didn't know if you wanted to save it for last, so you could just like gush. Uh, I'm not going to gush, actually. All right. Oh, no. No, that I've... actually doesn't surprise me, given that I own it. Believe me, I'm very happy that he exists. Yeah, right. that's about the limit of it. It's still not a great mold. The color ops no. are really good. The Predacon symbol here, fantastic. The wings are black. They've never been black. I don't know why they're black now. The translucent black is kind of cool. It's kind of neat, yeah. but like, why? Yeah. They've been, they've been kind of cool. clear. They've been kind of green. They've been green a lot. And like, it's the, very uh, clear, but it, it is black. It's a clear the, black. The bug eyes are this clear green plastic. I don't know why that's not the same clear plastic as the wings. I mean, obviously, it's on a different sprue. I get that, but like, why? That said, he does have cool light piping. I think it's tinted green slightly, even though this is clear, clear plastic. Yeah. Yeah, he, it is. he looks nice. It's just still a, a not super mold, especially when you put it into bug mode. It is not a super mold. So I didn't have this mold. I stuck with the old boss minator, which I really like. Like it, it really pulls off mm -hmm. the bot mode excellently, even though it doesn't pose that well. Um, this one poses better, but I still don't enjoy posing it because I don't enjoy looking at it as much as yeah. I do that Waspinator. I think it suffers from being shorter. I think it suffers from having to put the legs on the side like this. And they're, it's just, it's different. It, it's got a lot of the same design cues as the Generations Thrilling 30 one. And some of it, it does better and some of it doesn't. Yeah. What do you Was think the bus, uh, of the... Um, oh, sorry. I want to ask Christian, what do you think of the pearlescent yellow plastic? I think it's fine. Looks nice. You, okay. I think it's weird. I think it's weird and under some lighting, it almost looks like it's semi-translucent and it's really strange for me. Yeah. Yellow plastic is always difficult for Hasbro. Like the the head is, is definitely painted, right? But then the yep. leg and the butt, those are definitely this kind of... It's molded, yeah. Like, you can tell from just me holding it up, seeing the black bleed through, like, you can tell it's semi-translucent, you know, just a little bit. And it's that I kind of pearlescent plastic. It's strange. It's just the nature of yellow plastic. You can see it with, like, Sunstreak or two. That's just what happens unless you turn it to that kind of orangey color they've used for Bumblebee recently. Yeah. I think if, if you use this kind of yellow, that's what happens to it. But what's really neat is they've duplicated this kind of spray thing on his knees with the black paint where it's like fades out, which is a characteristic from his Beast Wars original toy. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. And uh, the head sculpt is really good, too. The head sculpt's good. There's so, a lot to like about him, just not the mold so much. <laughs> the mold the is the problem. The Thrilling 30 version... Uh, what was that? Uh, like a Bakan 
It was, and it wasn't explicitly Buzzsaw, but since it's a yellow repaint of Wasp Manor, I counted it. Okay. But it didn't have the new head. It had no purple. It did have green wings. So, <laughs> I mean, theoretically, this is probably, I guess, the most accurate redo of it, then, would we say? I guess. This is the so... first Buzzsaw... This is the first bug buzzsaw figure we've gotten since 2014 when he got a limited release micron in japan for the age of extinction line and then before that it was 2005 for cybertron he had an homage character there so i don't know i mean i think it looks neat like it's 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 nice that we get it oh i'm i'm super happy that he's here just the mold is still the mold, and that's it's that's the problem. Yeah. Everything else, the the deco, the new head, uh, it's all great. Except, I mean, I would I would have chosen a different color for the wings, but even that's not horrible. Still, they look good, and if you don't have a like prior connection to wanting his wings to be one color or another, I think it's fine. But I could and definitely see it being bothersome with a connection right? to the bus saw. So well. right, right, right. Yeah, you're that kind of oddball. But, you know, honestly, this mold just... I was hoping to like it better in hand, and I, I don't. <laughs> I definitely don't like it better in hand. Um, it is okay as a robot. Once I got the chest to click together just right, it is okay. You know, it, it works just fine as a robot mode. But that bug mode... And I want bug toys to have good bug modes, right? Like, I like bug robots and things like that. I think they're fun and neat. So I was really disappointed that I do not want to pose it in its bug mode at all. Like, I just went into robot mode. I'm actually making a display of, like, bee and wasp-colored figures all together. And I'm not putting him in it, probably, because I don't like how he looks in his bug mode. But I'll probably put Bumblebee toys there, because they don't try to be bugs. <laughs> they can't sell. Um, so, like I said, I'm, I'm happy he's here. I'm now looking forward to the Masterpiece figure that will come out eventually. Right. Masterpiece Buzzsaw will be, like, the best thing for me. I'm so excited. So, I'm trying to think of the Beast Wars Deluxes, right? No. Like, these are three of them. We also had uh, Black Arachnia, right? What other, like, Kingdom Deluxes did Air Razor? Oh, Air Razor. Okay. Yeah. So, well, because I, I was thinking that Tarantulas? this is, I, I was thinking that this is like three of the weaker of the moles, but Abbage? I guess like. Thank you. Black, Black Rachnia. Well, the thing is, like, they're all kind of weak as animals. But I was going to say is, is they have a, this is like a collection of like, is I don't think any of these deluxe molds of. Uh, like I, I like the black arachnia, but like I feel like the rest of these as a robot are is is are not fantastic molds. Like you know we said like Cheetors like one of the weakest ones. Like like I don't know this might be of the three, the I don't know like which, which figure would you say is the best transformer? Nightprowler. Oh, mm, probably Nightprowler. Yeah, I was gonna say, but all of these are kind of weak. Not Sandstorm, that's are... the damn sure. But we've we've talked about all these molds before, right? And as Transformers, we've said they're kind of men, with the exception of like Ares or and Black Arachne, I guess. But what they do well is they look the part on a display, mm-hmm. and they that's do. where they beat out anything else that's come before. Especially in the robot mode, I still yeah. don't like the animal modes on pretty much I- any of them. I think Scorponox animal mode is good because it looks like the animation model, but that's fine. It's all right. It doesn't have the right head, really, but none of them do. But yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I think that like that that's kind of the issue you have. But the, the question is, Anna, are we spoiled because of the masterpiece? That, you know, once you kind of have those molds in hand compared to these, you're like, oh, well, this is not, I mean. Oh, absolutely. I think we're and spool. Go, Anna. Sorry. I was just going to say, every time we've done a beast 
from Kingdom, I've had the same complaint. I don't like the more realistic animal looks. I want my old school CG looking animals for my Beast Wars characters. And I'm more forgiving on these three because they're not cartoon characters, right? Like Cheetor, I don't want to have Cheetor. I don't want to have this head. I goofed his arms around, right? Because Cheetor should have a very animated silly head like his masterpiece head. But Mm -hmm. Shadow Panther could have this head. I don't care. Because Shadow Panther doesn't yeah. have a cartoon for me to reference. I want Scorponok to have the scorpion head that the um, the, the third party Legends-ish figure has. I wanted to have that head because it looks like it can talk. Whereas this head looks like it's a scorpion's head that can't talk. That's just been my complaint the whole time through. So I, mm-hmm. you know, it's been con- consistent. There's only been a couple, like Pterosaur, I think, has a good animal head, dinosaur monster thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Dinobots wasn't bad. Dinobots yeah, no, I mean, to, to be honest, I feel like Dinobot's probably the best one. Like, I think the Optimus Primal's pretty good, too. Um, but yeah, like, a, He's lot okay, of, yeah. a lot of these are, like, yeah, it's, I don't know, kind of once you, once you handle the masterpiece... I don't know. It bu- these kind of bug me more. But I, I was going to say, too, like, I think all of these look really good. Um, you know, it looks cool. They all have great bot modes consistently, except for Cheetor. What a way to bring back a classic 3H era Bacon character. I mean, just a really weird throwback. But if you've you got the Scorponok mold hanging around. Sandstorm is who you want to bring out. Also, Double Punch. Please. Please. Please, Hasbro. Please. Double Punch. Okay, cool. Oh, and apparently there's a knockoff MP Cheetor on Show Z. So I saw uh, that, and it's actually a pretty decent price, too. I, I have MP Cheetor, so I don't need it, but right, I appreciate but you it. You can sell your official and get the knockoff. You know, the knockoff Beast Wars MPs don't usually hold up as well as other MPs because they don't get the um, the fur print hmm. and the paint as well. So they usually look um, visually different than the others. Not that I would contemplate replacing my good toys with KOs or anything. <laughs> so, Whatever. Because you have the knockoff Dinobot, right? I do have the knockoff Dinobot because Dinobot got prohibitively expensive after he came out. Your second chance price on Dinobot was crazy. So I did go ahead and take the um, knockoff off someone in my life who changed his mind about wanting the knockoff Dinobot. He also changed his mind about having a job at that time. Oh, was that? So thank, was thank, thanks, for, thanks for paying the rent, Dino. Jobs are <laughs> overrated. Dinobot paid the rent. Dinobot I did still have him. He's still fine. He still can't hold his weapons, unlike the official. So that kind of sucks, but oh well. Sorry. No, it's fine. He's fine. He's definitely a third as expensive, if not less, than the official. So, But anyway, about this orange guy. So the colors are great. Like He's Excellent. a really pretty thing to look at. Like It's a good purple. It's a good orange. It's a good sand-ish color. It's yeah. all good colors on him. Still not great mold. I, no, I think not really. You have done the same alternate transformation that I've done with the legs, like we did with Scorponok, to make him not so squat and awful. Oh well. well what's the alternate? No, I, I haven't yet. I have him just as. Oh, mine is the alternate. What's the squat right now? Hips out from underneath his chest. That's all. The what? I moved his hips out from underneath his chest. That's it. Oh, I got you. Okay. And for Scorponok, I made it work because you could, like, make him hunch like he does. Like that. Looking like that. Yeah. But for Sandstorm, I just left left him standing straight. I didn't do it for Sandstorm because, again, I don't have any attachment to him having to look a certain way. So I almost don't mind how dwarfish he is. Because he can be, he can be a dwarf scorpion man. Scorponok shouldn't be. He should be kind of a hunchy kind of guy. But this dude, whatever, yeah. don't care. Uh, he has very limited 
like he's only in one story, I think maybe two. And the art in that is kind of in shadows. It wasn't particularly accurate to the toy anyway. So this could be whatever you want it to be. I like the head. I was glad to see the toy style head on it. Because I think it, I think their attempt, Hasbro's been hitting this on faces lately. And the attempt on Scorponok's head just wasn't quite good enough. Like it was, it was really an attempt at making a show accurate version of his head. And it just, it was a little short to where it looks kind of weird. Whereas a lot yeah. of their heads don't look weird. A lot of their heads look good, but his looks a little weird. So I, I like this better. I think this more robot face, classic robot monster face is better for this mold. Yeah, it's, it's nice to get some of the mutant heads coming out, the toy heads. It looks good this way. I was hoping we would get one with T-Rex, but... Uh... That didn't happen. Sorry, Christian. It's okay. <laughs> we are getting Toy Scorponok. That's coming. Probably up for pre-order tomorrow at 8 a.m. Central. What is the thing tomorrow? Target's putting up exclusives for Transformers. Oh, it's at the Target Day. Uh, okay. Mm, Target Day. Woo. I hope they Target would talk day. about that today at the stream but weird? i suppose they did like not. it's almost kind of weird that they talked about it's all walmart stuff today's they, stream was sponsored by walmart done. dude yeah well, i think I, it i think it's part of the deal with walmart i think so but too I, no i know but i just thought it was interesting that they like there was a walmart exclusive stream the day before target stuff <laughs> you know, but the walmart stuff yeah. is not going up until a month from now and it'll be a disaster think, like it always is. I think it's some sort of... It's probably written in the contract with Walmart somehow that they've got to promote it a certain amount of time in advance. Because we've seen this... This is the third time we've seen the Walmart show, I think. I think so. I think they do it every year around this time. Hmm. Yeah, and just for anyone who's listening or watching later, this is the day that they aired the show on Hasbro Pulse on their YouTube showing all of the Blossatron characters that will be coming exclusive at walmart next month which will be july because it's june right now and we'll review them when we get them yay we will and it, it will be it will be awkward and <laughs> head and, so, miss and spotty but we'll get them we're saying the walmart stuff is going to go up on polls right yes See, usually a limited feel, stock though i feel like that this is like the most important thing for me is is that like so well i don't know i guess these are pr- you know like like these weren't hard to find um it's so, worth that pulse premium that's what you're saying right if you can yeah if you can get it but it, i, I want to make ease. sure that yeah i want to make sure that i get it in time yeah well interestingly with that First off, I'm going to do my thoughts on Sandstorm. It's great, get great, great, great colors. We like it. Great yeah, head sculpt. Yeah, really good colors. Really Still good head sculpt. not good mold. That's it. I'll buy it. Not a good mold. Double punch. It, you know what's funny is I've had my um, I've had my Scorponok in Scorpion mode, which I don't like transforming it. I've had it in Scorpion mode for months with my, um, which company made it? Is it? Transart, whatever the not that Transart, it's um not Transart. No, it's Transform Element. Is that the one that made yes. the? Yeah. Okay. So I have my Transform Element Scorponok riding my um Kingdom Scorponok in his Scorpion mode, and it looks really fun, right? It's very amusing. You see, he has like a scorpion mount that's bigger than him, and not him because it doesn't have a fun face. So yes. I like it that way, and I do actually like this mold displayed as a scorpion from a direction where you can't the robot bits on the underside but I do not like how it gets there. It does not no. get there in a fun, intuitive nope. or overly stable way. Nope. <laughs> kind of a joke. And yeah, that's a bummer it, because it is it a really modern is. toy. Mm-mm. And I really like scorpions. So I'm yeah. bummed. Yeah. Yeah, the bot mode is more, okay. Because I'm trying to get all the characters so just 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 put it up and I'll buy it. <laughs> I'll be happy that, you know, a Bakan Japan dude comes out, you know? That's fine. But regarding Pulse and Walmart with these, so I had them ordered at both, 
because I wanted to be sure I got them. Walmart delayed my pre-orders, but they also put up an in-stock listing called Transformers Legacy Beast Assortment. So I was like, well, what if I order three of these and see what happens? So I did order three of those, and I got a Night Prowler and two Sandstorms. And I was able to sell one of the Sandstorms to Paul. No big deal. And then... Uh, Walmart delayed my pre-orders left for Buzzsaw again, and then Hasbro was like, hey, we're just going to send you your two Buzzsaws now. And I was like, great! So they all came within short order of each other, just not the way I thought they would. That's good that you have them all. To this date, to the date that it is now, June 23rd, the individual pre-orders for these three at Walmart still have not come into stock. And I don't know why I've had picked, the assortment for over a month. I just picked mine up at a Walmart. See, that's what I, I don't as far understand. As I know, these though, aren't at like, my Walmart. I feel here. like it is worthless to make a pre-order with Walmart. Like I, I don't know. I'm sure. It's no, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Because none of us can relax enough that we won't do it. Right? We're still like, if they don't go up on polls, we'll still put in all the Walmart pre-orders, even though we don't believe in them. Just, we're all I nervous. Will, we'll miss I it. feel like they I never will. come in stock. It's just they're not consistent enough um, for yeah, me. Yeah, I think I'll like, just stick with Pulse I'm this hoping time. for Pulse. I'm hoping for Pulse, but I'm always like... I'm happy to pay I'm, Pulse 50 bucks a doing, year to do this because I'm doing no more Pulse, Walmart. And if if for whatever reason I can't get it on Pulse, I I mean, we I have a thousand more we'll store in the area and I'll just I'll find it. I'm not going to go to the store, man. I'm not going to do it. Well, I'm, I'm not I'll a go Unless I can guys. do curbside pickup for them. <clears throat> there you go. So, yeah. I I, oh, he actually did come with a, a repaint of the little bugger. Yeah, too, he did. Which I thought was cool. I can't actually pull it out right now, but it's in there. The, it's an unsettling human flesh tone. So it's kind of amusing. The missiles have this really cool metallic purple which is just a yeah. great color it's not used They're anywhere nice else purple, on the figure, but it's it's there and it's pretty they look yeah. really nice it's a neat figure it's a nice homage to the past that i really was skeptical that they would even do and so it's it's nice that he's here it's nice that he looks this good it's unfortunate that he's on a terrible mold but i guess i can't say terrible like we've said before even the worst figures now are still better than you know the bad ones we used to get that's a good point because you know we used to get figures that weren't good in either mold that couldn't pose couldn't yeah. pose didn't look great as bots didn't transform very well and were kind of awkward vehicles and now we're getting things that at least are consistently decent robot toys so yes. this is not bad to play with as a postable figure with arms and legs you know it has wrist level <laughs> there you go walrus so you know it's a posable scorpion type guy which is fun to play with just not fun to transform no not fun to transform so of the three i mean i'm gonna say you could probably skip sandstorm night prowler is probably the best one but buzzsaw is also the best painted so i don't know P See, pick don't know. two I, I pick one like night the Night Prowler is probably, I don't know, it might be like my least favorite. I mean, I think all of these are, like, if I were picking up s figures, um, I would pick these up over the regular uh, figures, like, mm -hmm. assuming you have any co uh, connection to them. I think all of them are really well decoed and painted uh, for what they yes. are. Um, so, for, from that standpoint, I think they look neat. Um but yeah, like I mean, obviously none of them are great transformers. So, and I really don't need yeah. any of it, as it is. But you know, whatever. Because you're not connected to this era. Randall says I am. Buzzsaw and Night Prowler. So there you go. Get the cool looking scorpion. Yeah, I, I'd actually say Sandstorm. Oddly enough, as much as I hate that mold, out of the three is probably my favorite because of the colors, and the fact that. It's a lot more serviceable as a rando than it is a Scorponok. I can never say skip Buzzsaw. Yeah, I'm not super happy with Buzzsaw, unfortunately. I'm really I glad know. that you got it. I'm really glad it was made for Christian. 
but man, it is awkward. Well, we're going to get one more that we're going to be able to order tomorrow. More about Saul? Uh, Parasite is in the oh. this year's version of World. Yeah, Cup. that's a bummer because I'm really going to like that. I'm going to see the colors on it. And I'm going to be like, it's so pretty. And, I'll and want- you'll get another Scorponok. But I feel like hey. this is Anna's like annual thing of like having to get the world world's collide pack and then having to part it out. Is you know, I sure? actually ended up with all of mine, but I I did have to get extra ones for people who didn't have um target access. Hmm. So which I'll probably end up doing again. Well, it'll definitely be nice if that's one of the ones that goes up for pre-order tomorrow because it was a little little bit difficult to get them for the first couple of weeks last year, but I think it ultimately was. everyone who needed one got one. Yeah, and if you didn't, I think that set just went up for pre-order again. <gasps> it did it though. Oh, did it not? Was that fake? It wasn't fake. It was for the new one. <laughs> Oh, but they showed the picture of the old one. They showed the picture of the old one. I think I think there was a miscommunication between Hasbro UK and In Demand and Hasbro US and Big Bad. Some mm. some something got interesting there because they both pulled the listings now. That's funny. Yes, yeah, In Demand explicitly different. said it's it's the new one and and detailed officially who is in the pack for the first time. Who's in the pack? Oh, who's in the pack officially? Christian. Goldbug, Parasite, Toy Scorponok, and Ransack. Yep, it'll be a must-have for me because freaking Goldbug. Go Damn bug. mold collecting. And Ransack. Like, it's the worst what they put in packages. We have one in Ransack, but... Ugh. And you want Parasite because you love those colors. And then you have Toy Scorponok and you love Scorpion. It's fine. You'll love the pack. That's a box of bugs, right? It was a I box mean, of Scorpion bugs. Scorpion isn't really a bug, but a gold bug is probably not going Different to actually kind of bug. needle mold, right? It's just going to be a guy named Goldbug who doesn't turn into a bug. True. Wouldn't it be is weird it, if it was? Because we haven't seen it. I would love yet. it. I would love it so much, but you know it's just going to be the cliff jumper mold again. Yeah, but with the new gold bug head that they use for Shadow Glass. Yes, it's just going to be all all existing it'll parts nice. in our collection. It'll look fine. It'll probably be a neat gold. It will. Hopefully, we'll see it tomorrow. But we could also it could it could be you know any combination of that and <clears throat> the toy pterosaur and the toy Dinobot. Any or all of those? I think that's all the target exclusives. Is there another one? We're missing one. I think that's all of them. I think so. We be surprised. There could always be a surprise. Maybe we'll be surprised. Some red person. Yay. No, red is at Walmart. I think they're funding that to keep it going for some reason. No, red, red, as in the color red target, target toys. Hmm. I think like Road Rage. He is red, but they could do, uh, this is a really stupid idea because when we were talking about the show today, I was going through, um, I was going through all the characters to show up in the Wreckers comic on Velocitron, and um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, Axter's bike's red, right? They can make his bike into a character and release it at Target. Make it out of a Junkion? I I mean, it would just be the the RC slash Road Rocket mold again. It would definitely be that to be smaller. I and it's a dream that isn't going to happen because there's nothing for them to make Axer out of. Not yet, anyway. Oh, Ron says Target. Uh, what yeah. about NPM Blackout? Thank you. That's the other one. There we go. That would be a hard one to see in stores for me. I really like helicopters. I like helicopters like I like scorpions. It's both. I thought I was. I, I had the number four in my brain. So thanks, Ron. I, I had forgotten that one. So yeah, any combination of any or all of those tomorrow. Purportedly at 8 a.m. Central. We'll so see. early. That's like six hours before I get up. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Christian. I'm actually I'm like going to work at that time myself, so I don't know. What you else? held that back for a while. I'm sure I'll get break. 
Make them all target card, red card exclusive, so then that way I don't have to worry. There we go. And True. it won't fall too bad. I have one of those. I have two of those, actually. There you go. Hey. So are we done uh, with these three? I think we're done. Yeah, I think so. Um, I was going to mention, mention Book Club this week is Lost Sight 7 and 8. So Ooh. join the TF Talk uh, d- uh, book club. Discord. On, on book the club. Discord book club. Yes. At 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central on Sunday night. Yeah, do it. So. It'll be fun. Ron, Ron says to be prepared for Target to screw it up. Yes, I mean, that's... I mean, yeah. yeah. They definitely will. Yeah. But yeah. sometimes they don't. Yeah. A lot of times helpful. they do. So. Yeah. Apparently they're shipping the Jurassic Park exclusives early before the uh, official pre-order date. So maybe Ooh. maybe they've got it in hand now. We'll see. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, thanks to everyone in the chat. Thanks to Ron and Randall and the random passerby that likes robots. <laughs> so anyway. All right, guys. Thank you. And we will see you next week. Good night. Bye.